Welcome to the Chop Team. I'm your host, Seth the Dark Child. I'm your host, Twin Zinc. Our show is about two guys and any friends that happen to come over with a topic that we want to chop up. This is our barbershop style podcast. We discuss it all. If the fellas at the shop will go in on it, we will. Let's chop it up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Seth the Dark Child, how you doing, my brother? Bruh, it's such a nice day outside. We we probably need to record something outside on the porch. You know what? I was actually thinking about that. I said, one of these days, we're going to do a show outside because we can set this up right outside, even on the back patio if we need to. That's going to be pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, it's just too nice. But y'all need to hear what we got to say, and that's all I got to do. Hey, listen, man. So, you know, <laughs> Seth the Chart, you know, the last couple of weeks, a lot of things have been going on. We got family in town. We got holidays. So this is the first time probably in a good month or so, or at least three weeks or so, that we've been in the building together at the same time. So... You know what I'm saying? This little video here we're doing here, as y'all see, can you spend $10 million, right, in five hours? Now, this show that we actually recorded was back in 2019. Wow. <laughs> 2019. You see the green background? You see, listen, my I, listen. You know, I, my my hair was a little low profile. Now I got hair, you know, lots growing in now. A lot has changed. And, you know, Seth still got his bald head. <laughs> I don't so, use I, I don't use Gillette razors anymore though. Okay, all right, that's an improvement. So, so anybody who listen to the show right now, listen, we do live recordings every Sunday, three p.m. Eastern time, on YouTube. So follow us, you know, on, on Twin Zinc mm-hmm. live, you know, on YouTube, and we'll be in, we'll be here. Tune in, and you can catch all the jokes and fun right now as we speak. But if not. If you listen to our podcast and any other platform, I appreciate the love. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But right here, we're going to do a video chop of our old video that we did back in 2019. I think it was November when it was originally. Yes, sir. November. But, uh, wow. So, so the reason why we're doing it is because a lot, a lot of things have changed within almost two years now. So about a year and a half or so, whatever. A lot of things have changed in, um, and, um, the world, attitudes, <laughs> personalities. Right, 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 right. So a lot of things have changed. So now at this point now, um, I could pretty much have a different mindset, different idea, or different things, outcome, how we're going to do this. So we'll get this thing rolling, and here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we're going to be stopping and chopping up a little bit because we want to talk through some of these things here, okay? So just let me know, like, hey, stop right here or whatever. Yep. Hello, everybody. The top of today is if somebody gave you ten million dollars mm. in in let's say an hour okay. to spend it, you think you could? I don't think I could. You what you think? You don't think so? I don't think so. Listen. So, I mean, me personally, ten million in one. In, so in one hour, right? Mm-hmm. An hour. So, uh, is it do I have the cash? Well, no, you have cash, and it's a cold start. You get no props. Somebody knocked on your door, said you got ten million dollars and an hour to spend it. Mm. Could you, could you spend ten million dollars in an hour from a cold start? Now, as you see right now, I'm already struggling right now. My, the the, the wheels is rolling. You know, the mm-hmm. ball is growing. It's like, okay, how can I spend this money in a short period of time? Right? What do you think? Yo, real talk. From a cold start, I'm still don't. I couldn't do it. I do now, but I'm gonna let it play some more. Okay, let's I, see. Let's see. And the funny thing is, you kind of said something about it earlier, or not earlier, but 2019. <laughs> but I said, dang, I ain't think about that that time frame. But I'm gonna let it rock. Okay, run. You, well, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because the money has to be spent within that hour, right? One hour. So it can't be. I I probably so more so so really I can't buy a house. Mm, nah, how would you buy? Because nah. because 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 technically I was bought a house, so I I know what it, the, the impact would be for buying a house, and it, it's not a one hour process. Yeah, I mean, from, not, from, from a cold <laughs> start. I mean, like, well, here's the thing about buying a house. Now that I understand, you can buy a house in less than an hour if you know if you know somebody who has a house and they have the deed. Because just like a used car, you just sign the back of the deed and walk off. But okay. So with that being said, how many people that you know right now, if house is paid off, you can go knock on the door right now and say, hey, I'm going to buy a house for you. Well, it depends on, wait, okay, if I'm out here, I don't know this neighborhood, but like me, I could go to 
like Avondale Estates or Firm Bank area. Uh huh. Those are some old money big houses. Knock on the door, I'm like, yo, ten million for this property. So there's people overpay for it, but <laughs> so so is there people who live there? Mm-hmm. So you saying you you know which door to knock on, and the person who lives there? No, I don't know which door to knock on. So I might be looking like a fool for a minute. Boom, 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 boom. I'll buy your house. Boom, boom. But I got an hour. This so. It, oh, you got five hours. Five hours, same thing though. Yeah, but mind you, mm-hmm. ten million, not one million. So you want to? So you know how many houses or doors you're gonna knock on to find out? I don't. I got five hours because. No, well, hold on. Because now, a year later, but just buying a house, if they have the deed, they can just sign over the deed. I don't have to take possession of the house. I just need possession of the deed and the transfer of cash. True, but what, here's, here's the scenario, though. Okay. You know, the scenario is that tomorrow morning, Monday morning, mm-hmm. so, uh, TV cast, whoever, somebody pulls up to you, say, here, set the dark child, you have $10 million, and you got to spend it in five hours, and your time starts now. I'm gonna take it and run. I'm going to the I'm going to the richest neighborhood I can find, and I'm like boom 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 boom. boom. Mm, I that, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work out. I got no choice. If I got to get it out my hand, I got to get it out my hand. But that th- we're just talking about a house, right? right? A house. Okay, so I got no choice if I'm trying to buy property. I could go. I could go buy the plaza up the street, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> for real, like and so in the subdivision I'm in right now, if you went around, first off, they first off, a lot of people got ring cameras. So one, number one, they may not even open the door. They're like, uh, who who are you? What do you want? Want buy your house? That sounds so like what? Well, buy but, my house? Wait, but your house, I say at this point, this neighborhood is a 200, 250k cash neighborhood. Okay, I I gotta buy the whole neighborhood. I ain't got that kind of time. I ain't go find the big houses. I need four thousand square feet houses. All right, well, I'm gonna hit play on that. Okay, run. I'm like right now. You, you can't even get who who you gonna buy a house from. You, you're just gonna knock on your neighbor door and say, "Give me your shit." Because yeah, still, that won't work because the because they still gotta go mm-hmm. and we gotta get paper, you know, documents signed, all that. So that's gonna be more than an hour. Okay, so let's roll out. Uh, let's roll out the well, uh, house. Well, no, I'll give you this part because let's say you did go. If your neighbor house paid off, he got the title. If all he has to do is sign over the title, and it's yours. But, I mean, it still take me 10, 15 minutes to find my title. <laughs> and my neighbor house is a piece of garbage. It ain't worth 10 million dollars. <laughs> I, so, I did say better so neighborhood. Where now. you at now? Well, you did. So, so, that, so that's going to be tricky because then that means you can run around knocking on doors trying to figure out, hey, is your house paid off? Hey, and, and who's going to tell that information? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you? First I'm off, knock my door. I know. I mean, I heard this. I was like, yeah, sound great. I'll do it. No, nah, man. I started <laughs> thinking about it. Listen, let's say, let's make it easier. Let's say you got five hours. It's noon. Oh, okay. Five hours. And you got five hours to spend $10 million. But you have to spend it all. Five hours. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do that. Five hours. And it's still a cold start. So don't. Cold start. No prep time. So it's going to be hard to buy property with the 10, even in five hours. It's going to be hard to buy property. I'm just going to rule out the, the. I'm just going to roll out the property part. Okay. The only way the property part would work is if if it's on an auction day. It's the only way that will work, meaning that you go to the day they're, they're doing taxes, right. you know, right now, deeds. Okay. Okay. But it has to be that particular day. And then, first off, if you don't have a membership already, you can roll it out. Because you just yep. can't walk in there and say, hey, I'm buying a house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need first mm-hmm. prove who mm-hmm. you are, money, okay. this, and all that. Okay. So, we're going to rule out the house okay. day. House is gone. Property. Yeah, you, we're done. You can't okay. you can't buy property in five hours. No, unless you from a cold start. Okay, not, not from cold start. So now where you at? Ah oh, man, so man, okay. Well, at least for five <laughs> hours, I can buy some cars, and I will buy a whole bunch of luxury cars. <laughs> Do you mean you don't just go buy the whole lot? Like I want everything out here. Well, it depends. Okay. Once again, it's gonna be all luxury cars. Okay, okay, luxury. I'm talking about Lamborghinis. Uh, Maseratis, whatever. Because Wait, I, where's the Lamborghini dealership at from your house? Yeah, That's, how long gonna take to get there? So yeah, I'm, I, so <laughs> yes, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and yeah, the top of my head, I don't know anywhere in Atlanta that has Lamborghini cars off the top of my head. Now I'm sure there may be one or two out there, but a full car dealership? No, no, no. Um, Marcel Road. There are some um, Mercedes, Lamborghini, Porsche dealership. Um, on Marcel. Exit A up Georgia four hundred. You can get some real luxury cars up there. Okay, all right, all right. Well, okay. 
See, I didn't know that though. Yeah. So you knew that, but if somebody came to me and said, "Hey, it's ten, you know, ten men." I'm like, "Uh, but I'm gonna tell you where I will go though." But I'm here to play. I'm gonna let it keep playing. Okay, okay, okay. And better count for Atlanta traffic. It take you two hours to get. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So. <laughs> ah man. Okay. Well, damn, that's a good one. I will have to find someone or one car dealership. Yeah, and they, hey, I need all your top of line vehicles, all of those. Nah, at this point, I don't need just top of line. You want them all? I want like you can even sell me your salesman's cars. I'll take whatever car on the Facts. Line. Well, I mean, then again, so so okay, maybe I'll go to any car dealership and buy every single car on the spot in five hours. Now, some people think like, why would you do that? Yeah, you I know said what? because part, I need to spend the money. Hey, the worst part, you still. Even trying to spend five million, you have to buy a sticker too. Be like, we can give you two thousand. I ain't got time for that. Just give me the sticker price. <laughs> no, that's true. So let's. So um, this a, after thinking about it now, two years later, I know exactly how we go. I will go directly to Duluth, off Pleasant Highway. So mm-hmm. when people in Atlanta, Georgia, you know where that's at. Mm-hmm. And off Pleasant Hill, there's about one, two, one, two, three, four Nissan luxury place. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like on Pleasant Hill, there is like three or four car dealerships all on the same strip right next to each other. I mean, damn near walk a distance besides crossing the highway. I will go to all three of the, well, I think it's four of them. All four of them. I said, stop what you're doing. I'm going to buy every car here right now. All those cars at one time. All of them. All of them. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to buy the whole dealership. Oh, good, good call. Buy a whole dealership. Uh, I want wait, this wait, dealership. Because you're still dealing with property at that point. Okay, wait, okay. Wait, I can't wait oh. a dealership, but I'm telling I want every single car that you have here right now. If someone has a car right now, I'm buying them for right now. Just tell them to sit down, have a seat, get some coffee or some mm-hmm. food. Um, and if you want to mark the price up, that's fine. But I'm buying every car here, car there, car there, and bring me all the documentation. I'll be sitting right here, and that's how I'm going to make it work. That's how I will do that. Okay. All right. Go ahead. And oh. now, by the way, at the end of this, I came up with a cheat code for all of this. Okay, all right. You do. In five hours, mm-hmm. or I lose it all. Yeah, you don't get to keep it. Don't get keep it. But if I go ahead and buy all these cars in this car dealership, mm-hmm. that hopefully equals up to close maybe three million, maybe. Let's say five. But how long will it take you to buy every car on the lot? Well, five hours. I sh- hey, I'm going to shut it down that day. <laughs> but if it's only three million, no, you got seven million. You, you lose. Yeah. Listen, most car dealerships <laughs> have two car. Most car dealerships have other car dealerships. Right a new school. section. So I'm going to go both places and they yeah. buy all your cars. Mm-hmm. Bring all the paper up. So everybody that day. Five hours. Hey, this five hours. going to be signed paper, but. Boy, they need a game like this. I've watched this shit. That would be a great TV show. <laughs> I would watch the hell out so of it. So just remember if that is a possibility, remember the chop brought up first. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I want to uh, make sure I re- re- say that again. So if someone's watching this now, it's 2021, and you decide you want the old show where if you can spend a million dollars in an hour or five hours, whatever, make sure you tag both of us in this, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you want us to be a guest on the show, that's cool. If you need to be a host on the show, we can do that as well. Mm-hmm. But I just want to put that plug out there. It still stands. Yeah, that was us. That was us. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's a tough one. So how about, how about this? How about this? All right, all right, all right. I think um, I will, damn, 10 million. 10 million. I'm struggling. Ooh wee. <laughs> I'm struggling. I mean, I already, um, you know what, I know what? about what I do. Let's okay, all right, all right, all right. Here's another option I'll try all right, to do. Right, right, right. I'm going to go to Brain Smart. Okay. And Brain Smart, I'm going to buy every <laughs> electronic appliance in that whole building. Everything. You know what? You can just talk to the manager. They got an inventory list. They probably know exactly what they got in there. I want it off. It's $10 million worth of product, though. Well, I mean, the one the one off 285, it's big. It's big, but it's also a car that's next to it, too. So I can have two birds, <laughs> one stone. Go there, get the car, go to the bank spot, the one area. Yes, I am. Everything down. Whoever's in the place, hey, Merry Christmas. I'm buying your stuff, too. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I guess you can take your wife like, look, baby, go do this. I'm going to do that. We're going to do it. You know what i do? For real? Who would you do? This is a good one. I'd probably just go to, like, Shane Co. or something and buy Oh. I just buy everything in the building. But like, hey, all the diamonds you got, I want them. Everything. And then, after my hour's up, do I get to keep my stuff? Yeah. I mean, well, then I'm good. Otherwise, I'll just sell it back to them. Technically, that I sell it back to them for a little bit less than I bought it, and they can keep on 
moving. I, I got, mean, you listen. Ca- I got you, the you, cash you, in my pocket. Right. I mean, yep. you walk around with ten million dollars worth of diamonds and gold. You, you have profit right there, especially if you, got, if you get a lot of gold. Like you want, mm-hmm. I want nuggets. Mm-hmm. I want gold, solid gold. This nothing customized. Exactly. It. Cause I, now, Shanko was a good idea too. And I'm thinking about now. You could probably go to the mall and get the K jewelers. Yep. Uh, just go and, to the mall and, and it's like again, <laughs> buy just the whole inventory. Yes. When once again, even you know what? Because if we were, and that's in Atlanta, right? Right. In New York, I might just be able to buy one necklace, or you know what I'm saying? Because some of them things are ridiculously priced. Yeah. Only thing about that, is, you know, when them rappers get them custom jewelry, right? And they spend like you know, saying ten million dollars on this on a pinky ring, whatever. The 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 resale value of that is horrible. Well, see that. That's why you have somebody like your boy with the. It'd be like, look, let's make this deal. You can uh, you can buy it back in an hour. I'm gonna give you a discount. And if we can't make a, di- and if you try to cheat me, I did keep enough money to the side to pay him to break your legs. I'm here playing. <laughs> <laughs> that probably goes up. But on top of that, yes, break the legs. My own gold or the jewelry. <laughs> you don't have to sell back to him right then at that moment. You can slowly mm. sell it back to him and, and get your money back. Or, you, or better yet, with all the diamonds and gold that you have, you can go and open up your own we'll jewelry see. store. Facts. We'll top see. jewelry. How about mm-hmm. that? That is. That nah, jewelry. I mean, you know, niggas don't like paying full price to other niggas. <laughs> I tried. I tried it. <laughs> no, but, no, straight up, though. I don't know. Hey, man, $10 million dollars from a cold start. Go ahead. Not bad about the use of the N-word. I was a little bit more immature back then. <laughs> 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 right, need a boop. He's a small, little bit more immature, but uh, I keep going. All right, it's all good. Boy, if you gave me like, I mean this this is us back in 2019, so yeah, it's almost two years now. So yeah, the conversation has grown. Yeah, we we've expanded our vocabulary. Yeah, smidge and scenery because you see you got the green background here. It's not green no more, people. <laughs> <laughs> Even just one day prep time, it's gonna be great. Oh yeah, but one day prep because then yeah we got time. Because same day, like mm-hmm. you said, cold start is tough to try to think. Because mind you, you have to make sure that all the paperwork is signed. Mm-hmm. A lot of paperwork. Sure that mm-hmm. everything has cleared. So mm-hmm. even though you're like, oh, I just buy a house. No, you can't because mm-hmm. the house doesn't take five hours. It takes thirty days minimum. Min- you know, and that's thirty days if you have a really good person. Yeah, maybe maybe two weeks if you have a real high down payment. I mean, but then again, if you if you have cash, then it'll be probably two weeks. Mm-hmm. With, you know, passing everything else, but you have to understand that whatever you go. I mean, even even so, even mm-hmm. say I did find a good luxury place, a car dealership that have all the cars that I needed. Mm-hmm. When I bought one car, it took about an hour and a half to get one car. Facts. Now, different now. Mm-hmm. Difference is now I have cash, cash, so I can get all the cars there. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I won't be spending the next five hours writing, risk going crazy to sign and sign and sign and sign and sign and sign and trying to get all these cars out within five hours. So that might be the that's best a of, option. That's a lot of paperwork, is, man. Like mm-hmm. you said earlier, where I'm going to find a look. I mean, think about it. Um, that's a lot of that will be a lot of paperwork to sign. Because you think about it, you know, um, when buying a car, it's it's probably like what maybe fifteen pages of papers you got signed. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you got to... Well, it depends. Cause you mind you, because 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 most time when you are buying a car, if you ain't buying okay. cash, you you sign for loans or other things, right? No. So it may be less paperwork now. No, no, you know what? Because um, just last year, me um, I took my sister sh- car shopping and she bought a car. She bought a car cash. Uh huh. And um, yeah, she still had to sign at least five different places on multiple forms. So. So about five page, five pages. Well, so see, see, it still comes down to the the inventory control manager, right? You can. I just want to buy your inventory. I don't need. You already got all the VIN numbers and everything. Just calculate it. Create one form for your entire inventory. Right. Put all the serial numbers of the VIN numbers on one sheet of page, or because yeah. I think somebody. I know a friend who just bought a car right now, and she bought it in Roswell, a brand new BMW, right? Mm-hmm. And when she bought it. There was no paperwork. It was all electronic. They had like a pocket iPad, something she signed, and once she signed all the paperwork, they gave her a jump drive. Like, here you go. That's it. We got a jump drive. But it was still. Right. Okay. Because he still on the side. Right. So it still took a while. Right. And even, I don't have 
10 minutes to spend, even if it's just 10 minutes on each vehicle. I can't, I can't do this a hundred times. Right. Right. So go in there, talk, talk to pull it up. You got a full inventory, the bin numbers, create me one document and I'll sign it. That could, that'll probably work. <laughs> yes. All right. Location. <laughs> it's gonna have every single car that's needed, Lamborghini and all. Yeah, you I understand mean, what I'm saying? There's some, there's some shops up in Alpharetta, Wait, but uh, a part right. again. I, I I would like to say that a lot of our problems coming in is where we're living and what we currently have mental, I mean, access to. That's true. In in different places, this whole conversation is different. AKA California. Yeah, if you live downtown Los Angeles, or Beverly Hills. Oh man, you could go to Rodeo Drive and blow this junk in a minute. You know. You could go to Saks Fifth Avenue, or and and ten million dollars could disappear. You know, so we're in Atlanta. Like, how could you legally dispose of ten million dollars in Atlanta? Yeah, you have to. You have, like you say, you probably have to go to Alpharetta, right? And then mm-hmm. you have to probably go to Buckhead. Yeah, you, you think the most richest area that has a good, you know, very exactly. expensive places to go and try to buy everything up possibly that you can in five hours. But like you said. That's flu in that traffic. <laughs> that traffic. But, I mean, just think about it. So this is location-based. We're having difficulty because we're in metro Atlanta. Right. But uh, certain other city, Las Vegas, I just go to the casino. Oh, man. Go. Right. Go go, go to the table. <laughs> I want to pay a million here, a million there, two million there, two million and roll, and you and win. Zero. Okay, I'm done. Thank but, you. And I can keep the winning. So I spent the money. If I win, I win. Yeah, I just go play roulette. Yeah, that's true. Okay, oh, All right. that's a good one. That's a good one. Seriously, huh. you just gonna walk into a dealership like, "Yo, I'm balling." Um, <laughs> you're gonna lie, it's like I'm a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I want every car on the lot. And, uh, Cause, mind you, and that's gonna be the challenge <laughs> part too. So, if you do walk in any place with ten million dollars of its cash, right, mm-hmm. and you're not somebody famous, mm-hmm. The first thing you want to do, they're probably going to call the police first. Y'all ass going to talk to the cops. Right. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can't take out a million dollars at a bank by itself. You just can't. You can't walk in the bank. I want cash. No. There's a, I think a rapper did that in Hairline, Georgia. He took, what, $50,000 out and they called police on him? I mean, the money was his, but you're really? legally not allowed. You can't walk around that much money in your pocket. I think, it's, I want to say you can't walk around with 10000 I could be wrong. I, I, I gotta research that, but I mean, no, you can. I know you can, but you can't. You know, I don't. You, you there's can't, a limit, though. Yeah, so there is a limit. I've had to pull it up. Um, mm-hmm. How much? How much cash can you legally carry on you? And it's ten thousand uh, dollars more in most cases. How can you put a limit on how much I can carry? Uh, this this is mine, right? It is yours, but this is America. It is legal to transfer any amount of currency uh, out of the United States, whatever, whatever. But yeah, it's ten thousand. Wait, say out of the United States. Well, out of the state, but it's still. Uh, well, I mean, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much money can you legally carry on a person in the United States? Uh, there's no legal limit that you can carry. Yeah. This 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 this, this, this uh, quarter dot com doesn't sound legit. Well, here's the problem because I learned this from American Gangster. A million, <laughs> American Gangster. <laughs> a million dollars, a hundred dollar bills take. weighs twenty three pounds. Uh huh. So ten million dollars and hundred dollar bills. It's still 230 pounds. So you're not really carrying that much around, even if you want to. That's true. So, um, here, okay. I mean, cause we don't have, we can stop. We're, we're joking on that. Let's, um, go off the rails a little bit, but for real, what about this? If I, if I take it to the bank, I get my money cashed up. Cause at this point I'm like, I now understand the stock market. Right. So, Boy, I would just buy on short notice without from a cold start. I just go buy ten million dollars in Bitcoin. That listen, that is it right there, ladies and gentlemen. See, back then, the funny thing is this Robin Hood stock was even there back then, but it wasn't a big deal till the whole pandemic happened, right? I had no, I I didn't know. I didn't know neither. I was financially ignorant. Mm, yeah, because you know you're not educated about things that you can do. But yes, that's how. So ten million dollars easily. Because I mean, fortunately, if somebody gave you ten million dollars to spend, it's not going to be cash. It's going to probably be a credit card, right? Or cash or check. Well, probably anything could probably be a credit card, right? And it's probably been approved for you to spend a certain amount of limit because you have mm-hmm. five hours. So you won't say this card can be activated for five hours, and there's no limit up to ten million dollars. 
That's it. Right? Mm-hmm. So, um, to answer your question, yes. What will I do? I will go right to my Robinhood account, crypto account, Bitcoin account, and I'm buying stocks all over the place. Apple, mm-hmm. I'm going to get 20 shares, 50, 100 shares of those. I'm buying everything across the board on the, uh, <laughs> I mean, the stock market. Like right now, $10 million sounds like a lot of money. Um, I saw online 250 shares of Class A Berkshire Hathaway um, stock uh-huh. is $79 million. That's 250 shares. Oh, wow. So you could get 50 shares of Berkshire Hathaway, some junk like that. Not even 50, maybe 35. That's, you know what I'm saying? This is this is part of the conversation I was having earlier with a friend was, uh, I, I said, if you, if you hit the lottery and you had you know, $5 million to, I said, what would you spend on the first $5 million? (sighs) Okay. She said something smart, you know, get a lawyer and stuff, but then you can't get a lawyer back in five hours. Oh no, no. This right here is just hard. Okay. I was was making sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm, I'm way off the track rail on this because honestly, I mean, you can get you a cheap lawyer. I mean, you know what I'm saying? What a public assistance ones, what they call them? Oh no. You get a good lawyer for a bro. Lawyers are, Sharks, bro. You oh, that's true. You know what? I'm, you know what? I retract that statement. You can't get a lawyer that quick because you know, hey, I have ten thousand dollars right now to give you. Sure, I can represent you right now, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, what do you need? <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> and they and they already have a network of people. You're, if you get a good lawyer, facts. That lawyer will be able. I need to. And since he's your lawyer now, you're going to say the magic word. I need to launder ten million dollars now. He'll be like, "That's illegal. I can't help you with that." But. But as your attorney, I can, <laughs> I can guide you. <laughs> and so, but no, even so, because we don't know how to be rich. So no. I, the only reason we're having trouble is because we don't have $10 million. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I had the connections and I said, I got $10 million to burn. How much is a Learjet? One of my rich friends would be like, I know a guy. Hold on. And I could go get a Learjet. I can't do that right now because I don't have those connections. That's why poor people can't be rich immediately. By the time we forgot how to be rich, we have the money down and they made anything, any smart investments. What you think on that one? Two times five. No, I'm, I'm just cocking my head. I mean, I, you have to probably spend $2 million per hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five hours, two times five, you know, or maybe three. Because you want to you you spend it by then. But I agree with you saying, you know, what you're saying. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, because I. Even at this point, you can't do anything, you know, charitable. Oh, I got $10 million. I'm going to feed it. No, Chick-fil-A ain't got 10. I can't feed the hungry in five hours. Chick-fil-A ain't got ten million, a million dollars worth of chicken sandwiches. No, right. <laughs> I mean, well, technically, you can still place the order and pay for it. And however, however long it takes for them to make the food, that's a different story. Because the money's spent. Money's gone, right? Mm-hmm. So you put the order in, you're like, here's the card, boom, done. Okay. So you can just do that and just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I want to pay for this company's lunch day. So send over a 1,000 cheeseburgers to this building. <laughs> I mean, you know, it'll be, it might be weird, but you can do that technically. I mean, if you go to – I mean <laughs> – See? <laughs> man. Getting rid of – and not to mention, I just realized something when I was all happy. Like, I would just go to the bank, count up the money, count up the money because, you know, they got the little quick count. Machine. Yeah. Brrr. Yep. Right. Okay. Transfer the money to my account. Right. And now I'm like, I'll just buy crypto. Except for one simple fact. You can't transfer $10 million to your Robinhood account. They won't let. They'll do it over three or four days. You stuck, bro. Okay. All right. I mean, but okay. All right, but no, that can still work because even though, so right now, if if, if you if you had Robinhood, for a lot of people out there got Robinhood, you know what I'm saying. If you go Robinhood right now and you do a transaction, like I wanted to uh, put a hundred dollars on my Robinhood, right? Mm-hmm. Even though the money's not there yet, they'll give you a, a type of a credit they can use until the money's actually clear, right? Can I give you ten million? Not ten million. <laughs> I was hoping. Yeah. I mean, Dang, Seth. Come on, work with me. Work, work with me. With I'm just saying, Robin Hood quickly will be like, oh, you can transfer up to $5,000 a day to Robin Hood. All right. Um, but they're not going to. $10 million? Or if someone gave you $10 million, that they set you up for failure. Well, not really, because I'll say this. If you're an entrepreneur, 
mm-hmm. and you have a business, you can just pay yourself the ten million. Boom. And that works for me. See, <laughs> hey, that's it right there. If you have a business, regardless if the money is there or not, um, the point is that it'll be uh, uh, the transaction has been started, so it'll be pending. But you already processed the money. You can just pay yourself if you have a, your own business. Yeah, that could work right there. No. Now, everybody don't have a business, though, but if you have one, I'm like, oh, let me pay myself. We'll go ahead and pay Twin Zinc. We'll go ahead and pay the top team. Look, the top team, $5 million. Twin Zinc, another $5 million. Oh, you know what? I got three businesses, so uh, $4 billion. I mean, sorry, I wish $4 billion. Uh, Let's say two, yeah, two for Twins. Yeah, well, two Twins, two to the top team. That's what, four? And then $1 million to the, the real deal versus how you feel. Boom. $5 million gone. But how do, I'm like, how do you get it into the system to be able to do that? That see, the system is set up for failure, bro. I mean, but if you have a if you have a banking account, you can start the transaction. And the feds will be there the whole time. Well, it doesn't matter. Know, the what? point is that the transaction is pending. Now, the thing is, the thing is that the question is, can you spend it? The money is spent. It just gotta get approved. Now, I will hope in this game or in this scenario, mm-hmm. there is no waiting period. The money is clear. All the banks have been aware. You know what I'm saying? People, like, I'm sure if this is a game that was created, it would be in a certain state, in a certain location you have to be, and everyone in this area mm-hmm. knows. And, of course, the bank will know, too, that this money can go today. It's legit. Blah, 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 blah. So without being the case, if I pay myself, I'm done. I'm like, game over. Yep. Okay. Then 35 days later, cha-ching, <laughs> hit that account. Then we really shop. And now <laughs> that's how I will do it. Yeah. I'm, that's it, bruh. Once again, I, I just want to go ahead and expand it all the way out. I personally, from a cold start, I think we came to this conclusion months ago. Nothing's changed, really. I don't know if they gave it to you on a debit card or a credit card, uh, AMX Black, you can do this. It's already in the system. It would have to be a black it's card. Moved. But if they gave you, if somebody dropped $10 million in cash in front of you. Oh, you couldn't do it. All I'm going to do is load it up in the trunk of my car. And then what? Drive until no, and just throw the money at the car. No, no, no. Drive <laughs> until I'm sure ain't nobody watching me. And then I'm gonna dig a hole and bury it. <laughs> and then I'm like, the money's gone. That's kind. Of, <laughs> well, it, it, well. First off, you gotta make sure the car doesn't have any chip inside of it. You gotta throw your cell phone out the out the car too, because anything electronic they can track your destination. Exactly. But I'm not gonna be able to spend ten million dollars in cash. No, no, no. That, that, you know what? I'll just say this. That's why a whole lot of drug dealers got caught slipping back in the day. Because they didn't know how to phone the money. You're right. If you can't launder, if you can't get the money into the system, it's literally just paper. And you can't legally spend a hundred, uh, $10 million in cash. So if you can't get into the banking system, it really is just paper. I mean, you, I mean, tell, the only, listen, the only way, <laughs> this would be crazy. <laughs> the only way you can spend, listen, it's my, let's, let's say somebody did give you $10 million in physical cash mm-hmm. and they gave it to, let's say an uh, F 150 or 250, right? Mm-hmm. You could get rid of that money, right? Burn I mean, well, no, not burn it, but I'm saying, like, let's say you went to a mall, like you drive around like, here, here's some money. Here, you, you can throw the money away to certain people, right? Mm-hmm. But um, I will put a mass text message out to the people I know, like, hey, I'm giving away free money, cash, meet me in this location now. Exactly. And then whoever pulls up, I'm going to keep getting the mass. You can, you can throw away, you can definitely hand out that money that quick. Because exactly. once, once, once word get out, everybody will be there. Exactly. You couldn't spend, I could give. You can give it away. Like, yo, here's $50,000 chunks. Boom, this you, this you, this you, this you. But. Right. Just like buying stuff that benefits me long term. Man, you set me up, for, but you give me one week, and everything changes. Oh man, that's my thought. Listen, I mean, technically, you can you can mm, cash. <laughs> listen, if I can, to- this one, I could probably shut down. I could probably shut down because Walmart and Home Depot are usually right next to each other. At least where my where I live at. Okay, I go to Home Depot. I don't buy everything at Home Depot and everything in Walmart. Still, you still run into. You still running. That's, that's a lot. Do you do you know do you know how much money like tools cost? And then I'm talking about every single tool, everything on every shelf. I want everything. Every lawnmower, tractor, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. No, I agree with you. You're gonna have to all talk, the wood. You have to talk to the inventory manager though. Because you can't you can't have some young girl making twelve dollars an hour scanning. Oh right, right. I need I need oh. 
<laughs> you know, right. I mean, so yes. So you know what? I think I probably could do that. Okay. I will go to, you know, in the Sean Plaza where I'm at. I'll probably go to every place. Give me inventory. That's everything you have. I want to buy that right now. I'll go to another store. Inventory. Buy it now. I'll be right back. But you can close the door at this point. And whoever's in here, what they want, mm-hmm. that is theirs. They can have it. Boom. Yeah, I'm like, whatever you got in your hand, just walk out the door. It's fine. We're, we're good. We're good. Because I'm buying. You, you win. You won today. Hey, listen. That'll be the national come get whatever you want there at uh, Home Depot. People was coming in and taking stuff. People pulling up with U-Hauls and trucks. Like, exactly. Like, what? I, I was just looking at this lawnmower. Take it. Take it with you. It's still on the inventory list. I'm. It's done. Listen, I would. I would do. So, all inventory at Home Depot. Uh, Walmart. Mm-hmm. There's a tire place there. I want all the inventory in that um tire place. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, there's a game st- GameStop. Want all the inventory in GameStop wait, wait, there, wait. which ain't much. Yeah, it's all used. Hey, I, mean, I got t- used, listen. Man. I got sp- I got to spend the money, right? <laughs> listen, I can sp- buy everything there and have my own little rinky dish shop that I create later on and sell it out there cheaper, whatever. Yeah, but I need to buy everything in that shopping plaza besides all the food places because I can't end up with the food. Yeah. I'm talking about. Not food, but restaurant. I can't do that with restaurants. Sorry. Yeah. No. I, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on the jewelry stores. I'm gonna hit every jewelry store. Up yeah, that might be it right there. Clean out the. And you're right because re. Yeah, no, might be it. Well, you know what? I don't. Gold and silver are worth something. Diamonds. Yes. Diamonds are. I mean, diamonds are just stones. You you lose a lot of depreciation, but gold is gold is gold. It. If I keep it for a month, I'll make more money off of it in a month. Remember when they were buying it? Yeah. And they were like, oh, what? you can buy this? So Yeah, people saw go. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Yeah. I, I'm i still having trouble doing it. Give me a week, and that $10 million is history. Give me two days, and it's history. Five hours? Yeah, I'm just giving it away in, on the street corner. Yeah. I'm find me some homeless folks. All right, well, we're we going to wrap this up. It, it, it was a fun little chop going through an old video that we did and still trying to figure out how to spend $10 million in five hours, and it's tough. Uh, so anyone who likes to chime in, you know, on the video, YouTube, whatever, or sends an email at the chop team at gmail.com or even goes on the uh, IG, the chop team there as well. Um, anything else you want to say before we close out? Yeah, no, listen, if anybody has any good ideas, let us know because um, I don't want to seem dense, but – this is harder than it sounds. Right, right, right. So also, um, you know, for the people who are watching live on YouTube, this is live recording. So we're doing another show right after this as well. So tune in. Give us like 10-minute break to do X, Y, Z. But thanks for tuning in to Top Team, and we out. Peace.